Hey everybody, good Saturday morning. Uh, it's about eight o'clock here. I've uh, been up since about five, I think. Um, I'm hoping that with some new medication that my NP gave me, I'm gonna be able to get more than four to five hours sleep a night because that's really draining on me. It's hard on me. And that's been going on for several months now. And I went yesterday, picked up my medication. I tried it last night. I got a couple hours more sleep than I usually do. So we'll, we'll see. Of course, when Thule jumps off the bed, she can't get back on the bed. I can't use stairs for her. I can't explain that to you. I just don't have the room in there for any little stairs. And I'll never teach her to use them in the first place. But anyway, she comes back and she does this on the side of the bed and then I have to, I have to pick her up. So yesterday morning before I went to the pharmacy though, I got out and mowed the yard, got all the yard mode. I'm so happy about that because it was getting it was getting way too tall. And then I got out the weed eater and I did some the majority of the weed eating. I still have a little bit left to do, but I got some of it done. And I'm glad because I've been stepping through weeds every time I go out to the car. So then um, I was going to see if I could shampoo my carpets yesterday, but after I did the um, the yard, mowed the yard and weed eating and went to the get my medicine and all that kind of stuff, I didn't feel like uh, shampoo and carpets because I got to vacuum thoroughly first and then I've got to move stuff off the carpet, move it in, you know, in another space and shampoo that and that that was going to be a hassle and I was I was just too tired for for doing that so I did not get around to that maybe I will today I hope so if I don't do a whole bunch of stuff in the meantime or maybe tomorrow or Monday I don't know but I've got to get my carpets done came out here this morning cleaned out my um, bird baths got them all nice and fresh and the water flowing I've still got to fill up my bird feeders though I've got a couple of them that are getting really low and I see my hummingbird feeder needs uh, fresh nectar again so that one's that's pretty uh, active place over there they she really or he <laughs> my little hummer um, really loves that nectar I put out for her. I see that my tomato plants are being eaten up by something I found a hornworm on it a few days ago and killed it but that now there's something still on it and I cannot find it I can't see where it is but it's eating all the leaves and stems down to the to the little vine so here's the thing on that I'm kind of tired of it anyway I'm tired of continually watering it and it's I know it's September and if I could keep it going I might get some more tomatoes on it but you know tomatoes are going to take uh, about 60 days or more to develop and ripen and so I don't think I have 60 more days left uh, as far as winter being here goes. I may not be able to do that. So I think probably tomorrow or the next day I'm just going to cut cut them out of there and, and take them out and stop watering them. I've had about about all of that I can I can do. So yesterday I also made my um, cabbage soup because I absolutely love the taste of cabbage soup and so later on that evening I got a bowl of it and I'm thinking this just doesn't taste right something's wrong something's missing out of it couldn't figure out what it was so I googled it and I realized I'd forgotten my my rotel and my diced tomatoes that makes all the difference in the world so I went in there and got those and got them in my soup and a little later I tasted it yep that's what it was for sure so also yesterday, I got a call from my doctor's office, my MP's office, and it was the person who kind of, you know, I wanted to punch out, remember? But um, she was super nice, super friendly, super nice. She had the uh, results of my labs, and my labs are looking pretty good. Uh, I'm having, I was having some problems with things, and, and they're, they're improving. They are definitely improving. I still got to work on my blood pressure, <laughs> for sure. But 
uh, and my cholesterol, but everything else is looking great. Thyroid is perfect. I am so happy about that because I, I've been battling that for years and years, and it just drains every bit of energy out of you when your thyroid is, is out of whack, and mine was. So I just wanted to come on this morning and say I hope y'all are having a great day. I'm just not doing anything in particular. I'm not doing anything for Labor Day. I hope you are. And uh, if you are, let me know in the comments what your plans are. I hope you have a great day. And um, thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, like I said, have a great day. I hope God is good to you. See you soon. Bye-bye.